Hey guys, I just purchased this stepper motor from Stepper Online. And in this video, I'm gonna to try to see how fast I can get it to spin using an Arduino. For this video, I'm using a very large NEMA 23 stepper motor. This one is capable of three Newton meters of torque at 4.2 amps. And I have it connected to a DM542 micro step driver. The DM542 is a little bit more expensive than some of these smaller ones. However, as you can see by the size, they can handle heat a lot better. I've had more luck with the DM542. Connected to that, of course, is our Arduino Nano. And connected to the driver is a 36 volt power supply. This happens to be the same power supply that I'm using on my CNC machine. In order to calculate the theoretical maximum speed of your stepper motor, you'll need to use one of these stepper motor calculators. Uh, first being a steps per revolution. My particular stepper motor is the common 200 steps per revolution. And inductance, also from the data sheet. For my stepper motor, it is 3.8 millihenries. Now the other two are really up to your uh, power supply and your settings on your microstep driver. Uh, say you're using a 12 volt power supply, for example, and uh, using the full rated current of this stepper motor, which is 4.2, if we hit the calculate button, we see that the maximum speed is 1.88 revolutions per second. Now, for stepper motor, we usually focus on torque rather than speed, but there may be some applications where we need more speed. So how, how can we boost this up? Well, there's a few things that we can do. First of all, um, we can boost up the voltage on our power supply. So I'm actually using a 36 volt. And just by doing that, I've tripled my maximum revolutions per second. Now, what else can we do? Well, I can't really change the inductance. The higher the inductance number, the more resistance there is to changes in current, and therefore a higher inductance motor won't go as fast as a low inductance motor. But what I can do is I can decrease the maximum current. And on my micro step driver, the lowest current I can go is one amp. So if we recalculate that, you'll see that we can get a much faster hypothetical 23.7 revolutions per second. All right, in order to get this 23 revolutions per second, we need to be sending a pulse from the Arduino to the micro stepper controller every 0.211 milliseconds. But since I'm using micro stepping at 1600 steps per revolution, I need to divide this number by eight, which gives me about 0.026 milliseconds in between pulses. Here is a very basic code for controlling a stepper motor. We have our enable pin 2, direction pin 3, and pulse pin 4. We set those up as outputs in the setup and initialize them all to low. And in the loop, we pulse every 22 plus 5, so every 27 microseconds. So let's power up the Arduino and see what happens. Uh oh, that doesn't look good. All right, so why didn't this code work? Well, the answer is we can't simply go from zero speed to full speed instantaneously, like this code asks. We have to accelerate slowly. In fact, for me to get this code to work, I had to up the delay to about 180 microseconds which is about three and a half revolutions per second, nowhere near the hypothetical top speed we're looking for. All right, so we need to add a little acceleration to our code. And to do that, I've included a few more integers, minimum speed delay and maximum, and also a direction Boolean for our motor. So the initial code is about the same, except that rather than jumping straight to full speed, we're going to have this acceleration loop where we reduce the time delay by one microsecond every time we pulse. Once we uh, do that, we will hold our speed constant for a hundred 
full rotations. And then we will decelerate back to our minimum speed and then reverse directions and start the process over. So let's see if this works. Once again, let's power up the Arduino and see what happens. Starting off okay, but it locks up again. All right, so it worked a little bit better, but still not where we need it to be. In order to get this code to work, I had to increase the delay to about 80 microseconds, which gives us about 7.8 revolutions per second, which is much faster, but nowhere near that top speed we're looking for. All right, in order to slow down acceleration, we need to modify our code a little bit. Uh, I've decided to make some modes different modes, one for accelerating, one for giving 100 full rotations, one for decelerating, and one for switching directions. Um, we still have the logic where we decrement the time delay as we're accelerating, but we do it with a little condition. When the wait time is large, meaning there's a lot of time in between steps, we will take a full microsecond away. But once we get to where we're getting pretty fast, we're only going to decrement one microsecond every 50 steps instead of every one step. Now, one thing I added to the code was once the stepper motor gets to full speed, the light on the Arduino will turn on. And once it starts to decelerate again, it will turn off. That will allow me to go back and view the camera footage and determine actually how fast the stepper motor was going. So let's give this a whirl. Now it should switch directions and go the other way. Watch for the light. On and off. So when I played back the video recording, the 100 revolutions took place in approximately 4.45 seconds for a speed of about 22 and a half revolutions per second, which is very close to the hypothetical we calculated earlier on the website. Now, some of you may notice that with a Delay time of only 14 microseconds, the actual speed of the motor should have been faster. But we have to remember that the code itself takes some time to execute in between loops. And you can get to a point where your maximum speed of your stepper motor is limited by the processor speed of your microcontroller. Now remember that the stepper motor used in this video didn't have any load attached to it. So if you have any load attached to your stepper motor, you're going to need to accelerate your stepper motor even more slowly. And uh, the more load, obviously, the slower you're going to have to step it up. Otherwise, you can step, skip steps and uh, lock up the motor like we did earlier in the video. And remember, too, that there are many ways to control stepper motors. This was just a quick demonstration of a simple way to accelerate your, and decelerate your stepper motor. So I hope you found it instructive, informative, and useful. Uh, once again, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.